everybody, Jason Bowles at OutdoorProductReview.com. We're continuing with the 2015 bow review. This is the last bow we're getting. I actually got this the day before I left for elk camp, which you can see we're up here in elk camp in Colorado. Um, the bow that I got is the Athens Solus. So um, if you guys remember, I did shoot that bull with the Athens bow a few years ago. Really nice bow. But first off, I want to thank our sponsors for helping us out here. We're shooting the QAD, the Ultra Rest this year. Um, of course, we're wearing our Sika gear. It's the best, uh, best hunting clothing that you could buy. It lasts forever. I still have stuff from 10 years ago that I still use. Um, also, Jim Fletcher archery releases. You were using that Insider. And then we have that Burt Coyote Luminoc. Overall, a great, great arrow throughout. But, you know, I like that Luminoc because this year in Colorado, you can actually use a Luminoc or a lighted, lighted knock on your arrows. And that's something that's really cool. So we're going to put that to the test, hopefully, sometime this week. But, uh... Overall, we're going to show you this, the specs of the bow right about now. New from Athens Archery, the Solus. The Solus has an IBO speed of 335 feet per second. The axle to axle is 33 inches. Has a very forgiving brace height of 6 and 3 quarters inches. You can get this bow in 10 pound increments from 40 to 70 pounds. The weight is 4.1 pounds, making it very packable for the high country. The draw lengths are from 27 and a half to 30 inches with the stock NSX cams that are on the bow. These cams have draw length specific modules that are at half inch increments. The bow we were sent this year is comes in a new Next Vista black camo and it blends in perfectly while you're in the outdoors. All right, overall the bow is really, really light as you guys could see. The uh, camo that they have on is the Vista camo. The other Athens boat I had was completely black. This one has a mix of camo and black in it, which is really nice. I can hold it up against the backdrop, and you guys can see that thing just fades away right back there in the trees. So overall, I think that'll really, uh, really blend in great. It's a really light bow, like I said. It has the limb savers and the split limb. Uh, their cable slide, they don't, they don't have that roller system they had before. They actually have a cable slide. And then they have an STS set up there to stop your string from any kind of shock. Um, but you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's shoot this bow, do the draw test on it. We're going to shoot through the chronograph and I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. So I got that lumen arrow on there. We're going to go ahead and set up. I got the insider. We're going to come from the inside. I'm going to draw this bow back, see how it feels. Well, it comes solid, solid to a solid wall, right at 29 inches. Let me creep forward, try the creep test. I got a good ways to go. No problems whatsoever. Side to side, no issues. Let's go ahead and shoot this. I'm going to touch my two fingers like I always do. I'm going to shoot this bow. No hand shock whatsoever. Bow sort of rolled forward just a little bit. Other than that though, it was, it was solid. Just a little bit of noise from when the string hit the, the STS system, but, but nothing too bad. Overall, it shot nice. It was fast down there, too. So let's go ahead and shoot this through the chronograph, see what we get. Remember, the bows are set at 29 inches for the draw and 70 pounds for the weight. God, I can't get over how smooth this feels. 297 feet per second. All right, so there you guys saw it, 297 feet per second. That's super fast. I mean, that's right there at that 300 that we're always looking for. Overall, a great shooting bow, super fast, super smooth, um, quiet. The only noise I would hear would be from the rest hitting the riser or the shelf, and we've, we've discussed that before. I would just put some moleskin down there and it would uh, definitely cover it up. So um, overall, another great bow from Athens Archery, almost 300 feet per second. Great camouflage pattern, and it's really cool. This is the last bow in the 2015 bow review, so I appreciate you guys coming in and checking out our reviews. Look forward to 2016 as well, and uh, we have tons of other reviews on little, little gear that we're gonna use out there hunting, but I wanna thank the sponsors again, Sika Gear, QAD, we have Jim Fletcher, and then the, Lumen, the Luminero from Burt Kyle Luminox. So, tell you what, till next time, hopefully I'm gonna go get an elk right now. We'll talk to you later. My name's Jason Ballas.